What's up? It's your boy Chime Time, and welcome back to another episode of the Chime Time Restaurant Review. Oh man, I almost fell back for a second. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so today I was in the mood to try something different for takeout, and I was in the mood for some Korean food. And kind of find out there's a Korean place downtown Greensboro, North Carolina, in my city, and I heard they had some great food. And that place is none other than Bonchan. I also ordered quite a bit of food today. I got some food over here, food over here. I got food everywhere. So we'll be reviewing quite a few things from Bon Chan's restaurant in downtown Greensboro, North Carolina. So Bon Chan, welcome to the review. So the first thing I want to try, ladies and gentlemen, these Korean tacos right here. Now these Korean tacos right here, if I'm not mistaken, I got spicy chicken. It's like this coleslaw in here, uh, lettuce. I'll have you take a look. Just so you guys can see everything that's up in now. Yeah, man, this right here look pretty good, man. I'm going to let y'all know how it tastes, though. Oh, my. Woo, that's spicy right there. As you guys can see here, I mean, it is dripping everywhere, but you know what I'm saying? I like the drip. This Korean taco right here is off the chain. It is very spicy, so if you decide to get spicy chicken, just know it's gonna burn some hair on your chest, all right? What I like about this taco, it is truly a soft taco. And I've never had, I have never had coleslaw on a taco, so that's a bit different. There's not a lot less on here, it's a nice size taco. And this taco actually costs me it's not on here. But I feel like I paid about $10.95 for it. But, it was definitely worth it. So if I had to rate the Korean taco on scale of 1 to 10, they're going to go ahead and get a 9. Next, we're going to be trying what's in this box right here. What's in this box right here, y'all, it is some drumsticks. Just so you guys can look at the good old drumstick right there. So for five drumsticks, this cost me $12.95. Now, I do not agree with five of these drumsticks costing almost $13. But it has to be a reason. It has to be a reason why they're charging this much money for five freaking drumsticks. $13 is just a damn bit ridiculous. I got half and half, all right? Now, I think I got half soy and half spicy. I'm not really sure what the half and half entails. So that being said, I don't know what the heck I'm tasting. I'm gonna just bite into it and give you guys the overall analysis. Mm-hmm. All right. You good, though. So I'm assuming this right here is, I guess, the soy or the soy garlic chicken wing. Ah, uh, you know, I like it, but for $13, it's definitely not worth it. I really can't taste the soy in this drumstick. It's a nice size, and the crunch game is definitely on point, but I just don't see why they're charging $13 for five freaking drumsticks. Let me take another bite to see if I can figure out why they're charging this much for these drumsticks. Mm, what? Mm. That crunch, yeah. Yeah, I can't figure that out, Bonchan. Y'all gotta help me out with that shot. Trying the soy. I do kind of want to try the spice one just to see if it's as spicy as they say it is. Yeah, but see, I don't know which one is spicy. Oh, what's this one? Mmm. Damn, babe. Man, they're definitely crunchy, yo. These wings are definitely crunchy. But this one right here, I don't, it's not spicy at all. These Korean tacos was a lot more spicy than this chicken wing, man. I don't know, man. Like, when they say it's spicy, I'm expecting the foot to be spicy. Have a look. Kick to it. This right here ain't had none of that, man. I don't know. So, if I'm rating these drumsticks on scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to go ahead and give them an 8. Next, we have the bulgogi. The bulgogi steak. So y'all can see that right there. Mm-hmm. Now, I want to let y'all know everything that's in here because I'm not really sure. Thinly sliced marinade ribeye, sauteed with mushroom, scallion, sesame seeds, and onions, served with white rice. Ah, that's where the white rice came from. All right, okay, cool. I feel you. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and just dump it in there like that. And we're going to mix it up like this. <sighs> This smell good. Hey y'all, that's how I look with the rice. Rice and the bulgogi, all right? And this smell good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. For me, you trying Korean food for the first time, this sure is a good experience. So the bulgogi cost me. Dang, I forgot. Ain't no price on here. I'm pretty sure this right here cost me like. 12 to $14. And initially, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little pissed. Because this restaurant is like really expensive. However, they this right here is definitely worth it. This right here is a whole nother level of seasoning right now. This right here is is 
This is that fire right here. The good thing about this right here is that you can taste everything in here. Rice, the sesame seeds, the steak is perfectly seasoned. The scallions, the onions. The only thing I will say about this right here, I've actually searched through this whole bowl right here and I've only found about four mushrooms. Bonton, if you don't mind, uh, we need some more mushrooms, please. But overall, for $14, this right here is off the heezy for sheezy, believe me, my BB. Or is it off the heezy for sheezy, my kneezy? I don't know. So the bulgogi right here, I'm gonna go ahead and rate it a nine. That should be a damn shame y'all sell season this steak this damn good, man. Next, we have the udon seafood noodles. You guys can see right there. This right here kind of stink, though. Pull out my handy dandy notebook again. This right here has thick wheat noodles served in a savory broth with mushrooms topped with nori and scallion. What the hell is a nori? Oh, this right here must be Nori right here. Nori, is that you? Yeah, Nori, you, 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 you look weird, man. I don't know. So I'm assuming this right here is the savory broth. Savory broth going into the noodles. Man. I can rock with that. Sorry I had to try that first because uh, when I was poured in here, it put me in the mind of me taking a piss. So I automatically imagine someone peeing in my noodle. I know it's weird, I know it's weird, but that's just me. Yo, these are definitely some thick noodles. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, all right, so with this right here, uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but I was definitely expecting some taste and that's something I just didn't get. This right here is not savory, but I was expecting for this to add a little bit of flavor here and it just didn't. This tastes like a big bowl of just blah. Give me a second. See, whenever you wanna make something better, add sriracha sauce and it makes this life so much better. Now let's try this to see how it tastes, shall we? Oh yeah. A lot better, a lot better. So Roger sauce made it spicy, and that's what I was looking for initially. Now this right here, whew, Lord, it's too spicy. It's pretty good. But if I'm judging this on a scale of one to 10, without the sriracha sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a six. Last but not least, is this right here. This right here, excuse me, is the pickled radish. So you guys can see right there, I'm gonna be real with you, this freaking stinks. Looks like, White apples though. But anyway, let's go ahead and try it. Oh! Okay. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, I could definitely probably eat these all damn day. Oh, these radishes have a nice sweet pickle flavor. Hence the name pickle radish. But I've never really had a radish before, so this one's kind of new to me too. The crunch game is there. It's a little sour, but it definitely makes for a good snack. The only thing I don't like about these is they leave a horrible aftertaste in your mouth. But ranking this on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give it an eight. So yeah, for the most part, that 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 Korean banchan was pretty good. I'm not gonna average out the score and give this a review due to the fact that I've never had some of this stuff. And I don't think it's fair for me to just rate something I ain't never had. But the food was definitely good and I definitely recommend it. So now let's get to my experience in this restaurant. So I get out the car and I go into Bonchon. I see the nice red sign, the seating area to the left, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty nice in here. Then I go to the wall, and I see the pictures on the wall. I see California, Shanghai, North Carolina. I don't think I've seen North Carolina. But I see a lot more other, you know what I'm saying, different types of states and cities. When I say this restaurant was freaking clean, this restaurant was clean. Literally, there was nothing on the floor, nothing on the walls, Sorry, I just farted. And the lady at the front counter was just a scrubbing, a scrubbing, and a scrubbing. I mean, she was just freaking cleaning everything. On top of that, she had a daggone mask on. Hallelujah! So yeah, shout out to the lady that was cleaning up and just a... Scrubbing. You did a damn good job, man. Another good thing to said about this restaurant is when I look to the right, I seen a sanitation score of a 97.0. That just makes me feel good. That turns me on. Would I come back to this restaurant? Absolutely. The food here has great quality. The steak is good. The tacos are good. The pickled radish is good. Everything was just freaking amazing. So I recommend this restaurant to anyone that loves Korean food and anyone that literally just wants to try something different. You're tired of the fast food restaurants, regular old steak, the regular old chicken, you should definitely come here and try some of the food out. Now, I'm warning you about this spicy chicken now. It's gonna either put some hair on your chest and make your nipples hard. 
Just saying, just warning you. Restaurants around the world, we are recovering from a pandemic. The stinky, filthy COVID-19, man. Wherever you're watching this video from, if you'd like for me to come to your restaurant and do a review, hit your boy up on Facebook at Chime Time, or hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Chime Time. That's all my fans. I love y'all. Keep supporting me. You're loyal. I like that. And until next time, peace.